What is happening and welcome to another Photography Talk episode. And friends, yeah, we're going to be talking about the one year, if I find where the hell I did it, we're going to be going over a one year hands-on review of the F-Stop Ajna, that's a two, part two of this bag here. So what it's been like owning this thing, using this thing, putting it through the paces over the course of the last 12 months. Now, as many of you know, this is, there's a couple F-Stop bags that really resonate with me the most. Now, I've said it in a handful of my videos before with regards to when I'm talking about camera bags. I have a wall over here that over the course of the last 12 years of owning Photography Talk and testing a ton of different camera bags. Now, some of these I do keep uh, and the ones, and not to say the ones that I don't keep are not good bags. I mean, some of them are not good bags and I just don't like the quality of them, but some of them just don't fit my needs. The bags over here are the cream of the crop, the ones that for my shooting habits and what I want out of a camera bag, um, these are the bags that really hit it right here. Now, I bring that up because as many of you know, the two Ajna, or I'm sorry, the two F-Stop bags that really click with me the most. This one I just did a review of, this is their Tilopa bag, which of course, you guys know, a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, I did the, the one year review on, this is the Tilopa 2, which hands down, make no mistake, we're gonna be talking about this bag here today. Love this bag, but it's not this one. This is my favorite F-Stop bag of all times. But anyway, not to take the thunder away from the Ajna bag here. These two bags are, out of the F-Stop fleet of bags, are my two favorites. And they're used for completely different purposes of when I'm heading out. But I mentioned uh, last month that coming into the winter season here, we've been I've been testing out quite a handful of new F-Stop bags. We have more reviews coming up on camera bags in general. Uh, uh, Peak Design, uh, Nomadic, uh, Low Pro. Um, so just a handful of, you're gonna see quite a handful of bag reviews coming up here and actually a whole bunch of other reviews as well. But this one right here, boy, the, the funny thing about this here is this is version two of the Ajna bag for F-Stop and they really kicked ass. And we're gonna get into all of this stuff here momentarily, but first uh, friends, look, uh, we put these videos together so you can go out there and make better educated decisions on, in this particular case, what camera bags make sense for you. Or you may be on the fence with one of these F-Stop bags. Hell, you may have the original Ajna bag and thinking about uh, possibly, do I wanna pony up the cash to get the second one. You know, how is it different from the first and all that other fun stuff? Well, we're gonna cover some of those details in this video here, but mainly you're gonna get what it's been like, what I like and dislike about this bag after owning it for a year. Now, if you find some value with this video, friend, I sure would appreciate you crushing the hell out of that like button down below. It really does help with the whole YouTube algorithm. That said, my friends, pull up a seat in, let's go. Now, before I take a deep dive into my experience of owning this bag over the course of the last year, let's quickly review some of the specs or some of the basic specs of this bag. Starting off with this thing is 23.8 inches tall. It's 12.8 inches wide. And the depth of this is 10.1 inches deep. Now this also weighs 3.2 pounds empty. <laughs> so while this bag isn't the biggest F-stop bag by any stretch of the imagination, you have plenty of storage in this bag for all your photography gear. Now, and speaking of which, so if you have the original Ajna bag, the original was 40 liters, this one is 37. So it's three liters smaller. Although the funny thing about it is I haven't quite figured out where they trimmed the fat to, to get this bag. Cause it's, for me, it feels like it has the same form factor. So, but regardless, if you're looking for a bag for a quick non-photography adventure, Friend, this bag 
has a ton of space for what you need. And again, I'm gonna get into a little bit later what I'm referring to with this here. But one thing I do wanna point out, the Asa isn't just about good storage space. Instead, F-Stop really stuffed this bag full of a ton of fantastic features. Now the exterior is F-Stop's proprietary Dur Diamond material. Now this stuff is super strong, durable, lightweight, and provides improved weather resistance, which is, as we're coming into the winter months here, the wet, snowy stuff, that's a much needed protection for your camera gear. Now the shoulder straps and the hip belt, which I've spoken about many times, uh, is made of bloom foam, which is made from algae. Now these straps, hands down, are among the best I've ever used. I've been saying that for years about the F-stop straps. These things are just absolutely, absolutely amazing. Now one thing I'll point out now, now this bag, I never use it nowhere near as full as I do the Tilopa bag. Uh, and so I keep referencing the Tilopa bag because, you know, full disclosure, if I, I've said it a few times already, that hands down is the bag I use the most out of all the F-stop bags. That bag, that's a 50 liter, and I have that thing loaded to the gill, uh, full of stuff, and the straps are crazy comfortable. Now, this one usually right here, which I'll open up here in a moment, usually when I go heading out with this, I'll have a single body, a lens, maybe two lenses, and on the top, I'll use uh, the F-stop, uh, the, the new drone uh, case, and that's usually it. Otherwise, I'll bring one of the smaller cases and just have a camera body, some batteries, and I'll have some clothes in here as well well so but yeah anyways these straps are absolutely very legit now jumping over let's jump over the side here one of the things i want to point out with regards to the ajna two bags here are these zippers so these are woven in for added durability and they're also weather resistant which is really really nice on the originals they had uh, i think i recall one or two zippers that were water resistant now all of these here are that same weather resistant material, which is really awesome. And actually, one other thing I wanna point out here, which I absolutely love, is the grips for these. They made them a little bit longer, you have the knot, and it really just works, especially, again, I'm talking about we're coming into the cold season here, and when you have gloves on or your hands may be cold, you having a big grip like this makes it easier to get into your bags, which again, a very nice touch that they did. And speaking of uh, this side of the bag, you have these mesh side pockets, which are a great spot. You have it on actually both sides here. Uh, I use it for water bottles, or what I'll do is I'll put my tripod in here and the legs in here, and that works out really fantastic. Now, let's talk about, earlier in this video, I, I mentioned that this is a 37 liter, down from 40 liters. Now, again, I have no idea where the hell they shaved the weight or the size off of this thing. For me, it, the, the footprint of this remains the same. I feel this is, from a functional standpoint, as big as the previous 40 liter Ajna bag that they had. But there's tons of storage. You have storage in the lid, you know, the interior, their exterior pockets, the access, of course, to the main uh, compartment, which, of course, is in the back here, which... Just don't know, I never cracked this thing open. Now, all my camera gear is in the Tilopa right now. These are just a few oddballs, but you can see the ease of access. And this, again, is the large uh, insert. So, again, it this works really well. And here is the drone case. So, even if I take so one thing I want to point out here, this is a smaller bag. Let's see if the camera's going to focus on this here, if this is going to do it for us here. So as you can see, if I take this out here, I still have I still have a little bit of room there. So I uh, spot or uh, space to put like if I'm heading out for a hike, I could put uh, a uh, like an MRE or I could put a coat in there. I could put my uh, uh, my uh, my little uh, jet cooker thing in there. And so again, even the small bag as it is, being smaller than the big Tilopa that I uh, the jet boil. That's what I meant to say. Being smaller than the Tilopa. There is a ton of functional space inside this thing. So going back to over the course of the year, this bag, again, especially when I'm doing long-term reviews, that gives me an opportunity to really take a deeper dive into the equipment that I'm testing to find points of, of cracks, find faults, find areas, weak points, and so forth. And frankly speaking, the only downside with this bag, and I keep joking with it in this video here, is, but it, it's... 
it's a, it's a tool for a specific case for me. And the only downside I was going to say is the size. And the solution for me is I use the Tilopa. You know, for most of my outings, again, bags are very personal items. I keep talking about that. I have bags that are as small as, I think the smallest one as a F-stop. No, 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 excuse me. That's a low pro six liter. Um, actually, now I think about it, I think I have a peak design that's like five liters or something like that, little messenger. But the point where I'm leading is every bag has a purpose. So they, for most of my, when you go heading out, obviously you need to put together kind of a checklist of what your tenant goals are, what you're going to be bringing, what you need to have with you. It just so happens most of the time when I'm heading out, the Tilopa is perf is the perfect hands down bag for me because it fits all my camera gear. I have plenty of room to stick the drone case in there and still have some room left over to stick some clothes in there uh, or a jacket or this or that. This is more for this this bag right here. The the honest nut is when I'm heading out for those lean and mean days. If I'm heading down to the ocean to go uh, catch a sunset, I'll bring this bag because it's small, lightweight. Uh, again, it's just. It has a very specific purpose for me. But in terms of things I don't like, boy, you know, I, they they did such a great job up in the ante from the first to the second. Um, I mentioned the size, but that's not really fair for me to say as a negative for this bag because it's sold as a 37 liter. You want something larger, you go with the Tilopa or you go with one of the you know, even larger bags that they have. But yeah, they did a great job on this bag. Now, of course, this bag is also compatible with F-Stomp's awesome camera inserts. Now, these inserts, which, again, I'll, I'll take a deep dive into these a little bit further. I'll add some more insight on these here in a bit. These come in various different shapes and sizes and give the F-Stomp bag even much better storage and organization capabilities, which is, man, when you think about it, exactly what you want when you take a ton of gear with you out, out into the wilderness. Now, the Ajna works best with the Pro Large Camera Bag Insert and also the Slope Medium Camera Bag Insert. But then again, yeah, again, I'll, I'll dive into this here in a bit. I have all their, their inserts, you know, from the small to there's a large in there, there's an extra large in the Tilopa there. Depending upon what I'm going out, will determine which one of these things that I'm going to be using. Now we're going this deep into this bag, so I have to mention the quality as a prime feature of this bag as well. Now I've had many F-Stop bags over the years and they've always been absolutely super impressive from a build quality standpoint. And actually this leads me to a good opportunity to talk about, you know, I shared with you, this is version two of the Ajna. They have, this is version two of the Tilopa. The Tilopa, again, I'm going to use this as a great example here, although both of them really fall into this, uh, this example I'm going to bring up here. When the original Tilopa came out, this bag, I found it to be one of, the, one of the best camera bags that I've ever used. And so the fact that they came out with a version 2, I thought it was going to flip over there for a moment. The fact that they came out in the version 2, and before I got my hands in the version 2, here's my thought on this. I, you know, over the years, I've seen many companies attempt to come out with a, they, they release a great version 1 product, and then they, they, uh, they want to bring some more life into their sales, and so they come out with a bag as a version 2, because they, you know, a lot of companies, it's profit first, not functionality and really pushing that progress needle forward with innovation in whatever that product is. So sometimes you'll see a version 2 of something come out and you scratch your head and like, damn, they should have just kept with, you know, version 1 because they, you know, certain companies out there will fall short of expectations, the lack of innovation. You could tell that profit or trying to make a quick buck off the profit or off the product was the lead motivator for coming out with a new version. So when F-Stop came out, it was, okay, yeah, I hope they did it right. Because it could go either one, two ways, and one of two ways. It could be really kick-ass awesome, or it could be an absolute turd or a fizzle. So I guess that's really three ways that it can go. So when the Tilopa came out, and when this one came out, man, they really did a great job. The, the, the option here is definitely no exception. Now from the quality of the zippers to the heavy duty stitching to the Duro Diamond material, this bag is everything I could possibly want in terms of durable do-all bag. And I'm catching myself, no, I can't. I mean, no disrespect to this bag. The fact that it's up on my, on my top 10 favorite bags of all time says a lot about this bag, but 
in terms of everything, I still got to keep recommending the Tilopa. For me, for my shooting habits, I, I, I absolutely resonate. This bag gets used nowhere near as much as the Tilopa. But again, the fact that I've kept this bag, uh, and this is a version two of the bag, and it's hanging on my, my top 10 favorite bags of all time, that says a lot about the bag itself. There's a time and place, there we go. That's probably more appropriate. Uh, but the funny thing about this here is, every time, go, I wanna take a, a back step there. Every time that I, that I get a new F-stop bag, I think there's no way that this is gonna be better than the last one. Yet F-Stop always seems to, they continuously to evolve their bags and improve their gear. So kudos for F-Stop for being, or not being ever satisfied, and more importantly, listening to consumers. So kudos for, for F-Stop, because they've really defined what evolution of a camera bag is. They've taken, now that said, I've been using F-Stop bags for a better part of seven, eight years, maybe even longer than that. It's been a while. The earlier bags, they were good, but they had flaws. They had a quite a handful of flaws, um, but they were still categorized, as I would say, good. And what they've done is they've, they've refined their bag making process to the point where when you see a bag like this, or better yet, my the favorite that I keep pointing to, the Tilopa here, it is a refined process. You know, people like myself, and I hate to keep bringing the Tilopa up here because I feel it's taking the, the thunder from the Ajna here. The, they've refined this so much that when, you know, my job here for you is to put together good, honest reviews. And when I watch a review, I want to see negatives. I want to see some cracks. I want to see some stuff that just ain't right. I can't believe I said that, but anyways, you get the point where I'm leaning with this. That is a review. When I review a bag like this, they and I and I pointed this out, I think, with the, the last video on the Tilopa here. I just spend extra time because I'm trying to find the legitimate things that I can say I don't like about the bags. The Ajna, okay, there is. I mean, from a space standpoint, but that's not really anything against the bag. It's just from a personal preference standpoint. That's the only thing for me that why I don't use this one nowhere near as much as the Tilopa. I like the size of that 50 liters that sucker has. 37 is still a, this bag right here has a place in terms of if I'm heading out light, I'm gonna use this because sometimes I just don't feel like going out there with the, with the 50. But the point being, going back to this here, is from a quality standpoint, they really raised the bar. And I've said this before, a lot of the metal hardware that they put into these new bags is just absolutely remarkable. The new fabric on here is absolutely amazing. It is crazy durable. Um, I'm heading out, you guys know, I'm out in the woods quite a bit, and there's times where I'm running through branches and stuff have gotten snagged down these. The, the fabric really holds up extremely well. So let me share with you how I use this bag. So this is the cool part about this here, is when I'm heading out, oops, Actually, let me grab something out of the... They have these new drone carriers that I absolutely stinking love. Now, right now, so you can see, as I'll crack this open in here in a moment, if I'm heading out and I just want to bring a single camera and a couple lenses, this bag, the answer that I'm using right here, Okay, so let's see if that's gonna show there. Now this is the large insert right here. Obviously in the uh, Tilopa, I have the extra large there. So you can see, I'll have a camera here. I'll usually have a 70 to 200 over here. My GoPro's batteries right here. And I'll cram in like a 50 mil or something in here. And that works out perfect. In the back slot here, and these are the things I just absolutely love when they came out with with the, the new version of these bags here. You have these little magnetic flaps all over the place. You have storage out the wazoo in both of these bags here. And I keep referring to the Tilopa. And I know you, you tuned in to watch the Ajna review and you kinda you got a two for one with this here. Now, I will say this here. For me, okay, here we go. Okay, so as you can see, this bag is you know, it's considerably smaller in size 
Then I mean, we're talking 50, 50 liter compared to the 37. So if I'm going on a hike, this is the bag that's gonna come with me. If I wanna go lean and mean and so forth. Now, earlier we're talking about the just the how amazing the the modularity of these bags are so if i'm going out on a hike and where i'm just simply going to be camping out of a backpack i'm going to bring just simply my, my r5 with a lens on it i'm going to bring a gopro in here and i might have some additional batteries and that's going to be on the very bottom of this thing and i'll use the top of it to hold my tent uh, or a night, or I'm sorry, a change of clothes in there in my toiletries, and boom. So you can you can see this works out really well, and this has yeah, this has the same aluminum frame that you actually I'll share with you that there. So there's the the drone carrier there but the frame in these things is absolutely super comfortable and that is important so if you do a lot of hiking or if this bag is going to be on your back you want that support so you can see you have this lightweight frame kind of an exoskeleton that goes through the length of the bag and that does what it's supposed to do but at any rate going back to this they just really did a great job so again depending upon what I'm going out for, how long I'm going out for, it will determine how which of these inserts I'm going to use, even with the larger one in here that I just pointed out, which, actually, here we go. So you can see, this is, this is a pretty decent size case there, and I can still, when that is put into the bag, I have that space to put the, the drone case in there as well. So kudos for F-Stop. All right, friends, and that is it for the one year, 12 month, however you want to look at, hands-on review of the Ajna 2 by F-Stop Review. Now, it's that time of the video where, hey, we're going to shift gears here a little bit. We're going to talk about our current giveaway where we have three amazing prizes up for the grabs. Starting off with the F-Stop Tilopa bag as the pr you know, big prize here, badass bag. You just heard me talking about it. We have the Desk Lab portable monitor and, of course, the $100 Amazon gift card. As always, entering the giveaway is really simple. Step one, like this video and subscribe to our channel. Step two, leave a comment below. In fact, the more of our videos that you watch and leave a comment on, the more chances that you have to win. So by all means, watch some more of the videos and leave some comments. Step three, register on Photography Talk and introduce yourself in the form. Now, friend, if you happen to have registered on the site during one of the last giveaways, you're still eligible to win. But as I keep saying over and over again, swing and buy, say hello, let us know how you're doing. We would love to see you. And uh, actually, that is it. For complete details on the giveaway, including how to register on Photography Talk or how to say hello in the forum, check out the description below. Good luck. And uh, actually, one last thing before I go shutting off the cameras here. If you enjoy this sort of content, be sure to head over to Photography Talk. Sign up for an account. It's free to do so, and it gives you access to literally thousands of photography-related articles on the site, including news articles about camera gear, photography tutorials, and much, much more. So yeah, take a moment, sign up for an account, and get access to material that will help you take your best shot. All right, friends, and that is it for the one-year review of the F-Stop Ajna 2 bag. You know, again, I absolutely love what F-Stop has done with these bags. They've really taken the bar and taken it even further. They've shown a good, as I said earlier, they've really defined what evolution of a camera bag is. Um, but anyways, getting back over to where I was leading with this here, friend, it is an absolute honor where we can have 15, 20 minutes of your time. You're trusting us with uh, viewing this review of what how, the experience that I've had with this bag, giving me 15, 20 minutes of your very valuable time, and I'm honored. I, I really appreciate you tuning in, supporting the channel. That said, uh, look, if you're not subscribed to the channel, uh, friend, we would love to have you officially part of the family. So please go down below, consider hitting that subscribe button. Hell, while you're at it, hit the like button. I already said in the beginning how valuable that is in terms of the YouTube algorithm. And last but not least, so therefore you don't miss a single video like the one that you just watched here, be certain to hit that bell down below so YouTube does its whole reaching out to you when we come out with a new uh, video. But friends, again, thank you very much. I'm honored to have you here with me here this evening or 
afternoon, but I'm gonna be shutting up the camera. So friend, you get out there, stay healthy, and take your best shot.